David Vonderhaar in the booth with me, and we're about to launch Turbine Multi-Team Team Deathmatch. And this is quite the interesting game mode, Vaughn. What are your predictions right here? And uh, what, we, go ahead and make a prediction. I'm going to predict that this thing is going to be wire to wire, that these guys are really going to just get super into this thing, and we're going to see some tough, tight, close scores the entire match. Yeah, I, I actually agree. Multi-team TDM is introducing you know so many different aspects into the gameplay just because of the fact that you're adding multiple teams. As we see Gunshi, who finished that last game absolutely on fire, picking up another kill right there, and that was on nice, and that was actually nice from uh, the team control. Germany. And why don't we pull the picture and picture up and take a look here, Vaughn. We see that Optic is actually playing as the SEALs faction that I'm hovered over with my cursor right here. And then now we see that Team Prophecy from the UK is playing as the SDC faction. Now Team Envious from North America is playing as the FBI faction and Team Germany is playing as the Mercs faction. I really like this view because you can tell where every single team is in position right there with uh, Envious up there in first place. Yep, absolutely. So Envious has taken the early lead, but it's oh so close. Five kills on the board for Envious. We'll swap on board with Karma and see if he can add to that lead. He's using the M8A1 assault rifle with the target finder. Again, pulling off some nice shots there. He's actually got a select fire attachment as well, so he doubled up on his attachments, Vaughn. Why don't you uh, tell me a little bit about that? You know, I really like the this particular attachment, a select fire switch. You can change between auto and burst modes, and one way that I really like to use it is at long range, I'll actually burst, and at short range, I'll go to auto. Yep, absolutely, it makes complete sense. Uh, I got a little bit of time with it as well, as we see Karma go down for the drop shot, almost got a double kill with it. But uh, he, there he is, he's calling in the UAV. And we just saw, uh, he picked up the assist on that kill. Now assist add to the score streaks here in Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Uh, what was the, kind of the decision behind that? So there's certain score streaks that you really want to be able to reward players for using and activating. And those are particularly the ones like, the, like this one because these are not actually generating kills for you. But if that thing's up, you're seeing that, that assist points for using counter, any kind of support-based score streak. Got UAV it. So the UAV will actually give you some points towards your next score streak. That's exactly right. As we see right. Karma picking up another kill right there and spots another one. Looks like he had a, a foot in the way right there as he went prone. And let's take a look at the overhead map and see where Karma is spawning back in. Looks like he's going to run into a player oh, right here. No. And he did. It was nice from the team Germany. But Envious still has the lead at the moment. They have 18 kills on the board, starting to create some separation. 18 to 13, the SDC is in second, and that is Team Prophecy. And Twiz now for Envious is on a three kill streak. Why don't we take a look at his loadout? He's rocking the M8A1 as well. Uh, seems like he has, is that a bouncing Betty there and a smoke grenade maybe? Or is that maybe a flash grenade? Looks like a flash grenade. So uh, looks like Twiz is kind of going with that classic reflex Interesting fight. to see him burst at this range, actually. I would think that you'd want to get in there. Those guys are such precision shooters, though. Man, this is such a great player, Twiz. Yep, yep. Twiz is definitely solid, and now Envious has taken the lead even uh, more. Knows. Why don't we actually take a listen in to Team Envy, Vaughn, and see how well they're communicating. Yeah, he's next to us, he's next to us. Yeah, he's right to your left. Got him. Another one down low, another one down low. Down low, turret building. That's still me, still me. Still me, still me. Big kill. I've got UAV, but I'm weak. Throw it up, throw it up. And, and you'll work for a counter. There's one, Stay another one, uh, top turret over here. Oh, next week, next week, next week. And now, and, um, All right, Vaughn, so Envious definitely had some great communication right there. Two minutes left to go. That is probably why they have such a good lead. Uh, you know, the communication is oh so crucial, and in COD casting mode, we can actually put you into the game with the players with one touch of a button, which is a, one of my favorite features, if not my favorite in COD casting mode. And it looks like Twiz just missed a player who came up behind him, and it was Optic Ray. And let's see how Optic is doing at the moment. They are your FBI's team, and it looks like they are kind of slacking behind. They're down by about seven kills. Not too far off the pace, but it looks like Prophecy is now coming back. Vaughn, Shane has oh. a six kill streak. Why don't we take a look at him? Absolutely, one of the best ways to figure out what player is really hot right now, pulling up picture in picture, seeing that kill streak column and knowing exactly where he does. 
Absolutely. Oh, maybe did we just curse him right there? Well, that happens to me Definitely all the time when I swap the players. I curse him, and look at this. Shane is fully loaded oh, with score man. streaks He's right now. He's got the death machine out. This should be really entertaining. Yeah, the death machine is just uh, massive in this game. It does some super damage to the body of enemy soldiers. But you know what I like to use it for? Uh, I actually like to take out score streaks with it because it, it's brutal. I mean, if there's a score streak in the sky and I can take it out with the death machine, I'm going to do it. Um, it's, it really fires so many bullets and it's kind of absolutely devastating those score streaks and it's absolutely devastating right there as we see Shane picking up the kill on Big Timer from Optic. Envious is still in the lead by four. We're headed into the last minute of the game now, Vaughn. And uh, why don't we take a look at the picture in picture again and let's see if we can hop on board with somebody who's on fire. Looks like Gunch is on a three kill streak. Now, why don't you uh, tell me a little bit about Gunchy's class? Yeah, you can see. yeah. So, so Gunchy, once again, this select fire seems to be a very popular attachment with these pro players, and he's got the looks like he's got the red dot sight there, and he's going to aim up and put some targets down. He's been playing pretty good all night. All the players have been doing a great job. Yeah, and it looks like there are 19 seconds left to go. And there's a care package there for Gunchy. He's only down by three kills. He has a care package and a UAV. Choosing not to go ahead and call it in, his strategy might be to go ahead and try and just work around with his gunplay. Six seconds left, only two kills separating our teams. Can they do it as we're on board with Gunchy? Can he catch back up? Oh, oh whoa, so close. Yeah, 42, he picks, 41. He picks what a great one up game. right there. And uh, it looks like that was so close at the end. Gunchy picked up that final kill, but it just wasn't enough. <laughs> if one of his teammates was able to help out, they would have came back and tied it. But Envious is going to take this one. And let's take a look at the scoreboard here as we see Twiz going huge for Team Envious, 19 and 12. All right, guys. Karma with 13 kills on the board. He's negative, though.